Ugh, gosh, I'm bored. You really should be more careful with your editing there. Oh, I see. You want me to do an actual video for once. Well, I don't see the harm in doing so, so let's just get it over with. Gyrus is a game that I'd never really heard about until I recently bought it at. Name and, address withheld. and I'm not gonna lie, it's a really good game. However, it isn't without a few flaws. Now these flaws aren't too major, they don't detract from the overall game. So I suppose it would just be best to start with those. Okay, so the first major problem I noticed with this game was the planets. I mean, look at them. They're in the wrong order. Whose brilliant idea was it to put Neptune as the last planet? It should be Pluto. And even then, if I was to nitpick even more, Pluto isn't even a planet. However, I'm gonna let that one slide as it's dwarfed by the flaw that Neptune is the last planet when it should be Pluto. Every game needs a memorable boss, or at least a good one. Mario has Bowser, and The Legend of Zelda has Ganon. Gyrus has four rotating balls in space, and they're spitting out enemies or firing at you. Now this game does have some good bosses, like in Stage 7, that boss isn't half bad. But since there are so few good bosses, it doesn't really feel like there's much originality. When I bought this game, I knew literally nothing about it. However, as soon as I played it, I recognized the music almost instantly. The music for Stage 1 is called Toccata. Originally created by Bach, this is a more updated version, based on the works of Sky. Sky is a band from the 1980s, who are highly underrated, and I recommend you check them out as soon as watching this video. And you know I must like the music from this game, because I've been using it for the entirety of this video. The strong suit of this game is the gameplay. It reminds me a lot of Galaga, which was one of my favorite arcade games when I was younger. And while Gyrus was originally an arcade game, I was never able to play the original arcade form. So this is the closest thing I can get to playing the arcade game, and in my opinion, it's executed perfectly. I would have to say that my final rating for this game is an 8.5 out of 10. Like I said, I love this game. And yes, it has a few flaws here and there, but the true greatness lies in the gameplay and soundtrack. And I would highly recommend buying this game if you're into the space shooter genre. Mm -hmm. 